All right, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about background scroll and the way to get things to show and not show on certain screens of your custom live wallpaper. And uh, before I dive into that too, this other request that I have right here, a scrolling wallpaper versus a no scrolling wallpaper. What the user, actually two people requested this and they were trying to, you know, have one screen where they could simulate scrolling things or showing an infinite number of screens, so to speak. And I have a tutorial on that. It's called the infinite cycle. Uh, what this tutorial here will cover is having one screen on your launcher where you're not really scrolling with your thumb, but you can use buttons or some type of, uh, uh, trigger to scroll infinitely to the left or infinitely to the right and show up as many screens as you want really. Um, don't do too many because it'll slow your uh, wallpaper down. But I already had that tutorial there. So you really, literally, you're not really scrolling with your finger in this tutorial here. You're using the buttons and it's kind of like simulating a scroll and you can have a whole bunch of uh, different things pop up on the screen. And it works forever to the left and to the right. It's pretty cool. You should check it out. Now in this video though, uh, I'm using Nova Launcher. And right now on Nova Launcher, I have one, whoops, I have one, two, three screens, okay? And what's important here is that for those of you who are just starting with KOWP, you wanna make sure the number of screens you have in actual in the actual KOWP app matches how many screens you have on your launcher. So notice I have three horizontal screens on uh, my custom live wallpaper app or the advanced editor. And I also had those three screens back here. So I have a little key or a little indicator down here showing what screen I'm on. Notice I'm on screen one and I can't scroll anymore in this direction as you see that little thing was bouncing out, but I can go to screen two and I can go to screen three and you may notice some things are animating so now I can't go any for any further in that direction so like I said a three screen setup and some various things that we can do here um, you'll notice now on screen one is here when I go to screen two it fades out and then when I go to screen three it fades back in well this can actually be done with just one one component so to speak or one widget or whatever you want to call this thing so uh, that's exactly what I have set up here. And I'm gonna show you some various things because what the one user requested was they wanted to see a certain widget for the first two, but not the last one. And then I'm gonna come in and throw a few more things into this tutorial as well. So just uh, watch, maybe you can learn something new. And for those of you just starting with KOWP, you definitely wanna check this out. So this uh, little widget that I have, and I'm gonna scroll here so I can see it on screen one. All right, um, I've just created a widget. I'm not gonna go through how to create that, but what I am curious about is whatever thing you're trying to animate, I have it set to animate based on the background scroll and I have it set to fade in. So over at help.custom.rocks, uh, he, Frank uh, explains some of these animations that you'll need to be, or need to understand, such as the center. Uh, that's important for understanding how background scroll animates. The rule, that's important in understanding how the background scroll animates things. However, I still can't wrap my head around it 100%. Um, I still have to tinker with these two things right here to make it do what I want it to do. And that's probably what I'm going to do in this video. However, for this one, you'll notice that I have this uh, thing set to fade in. I have it set to center and I have it set on screen two. The center is set to screen two. Well, what this will do, since I have three screens, literally my center screen is screen two. And what the rule for uh, the rule center, um, what that will do, or let me make sure I'm doing the right thing. Uh, the rule at center, let me show you, the default rule center means the animation will be applied before and after the center. So if I go to screen two, notice it's not there because my center screen is set to two and the animation's going to be applied, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. The animation will be applied before and after the center. So before the center, which is screen one, notice it fades in. And then if I go back to screen three, notice it fades in. So that animation is being applied before and after the center. These rules don't really make much sense to me sometimes. That rule definitely does make sense. So I find myself using the rule center quite often. Now, suppose we had four screens here. So, um, well, actually, no, before we do that, let me leave this on three and let me address this request from the user. They want to see this widget now. They want to see this widget on the first two, but they want it to go away on the third one. Well, here's a fix for that. What we can do, we can leave everything the same here and we can just go and set our center screen to screen three. So now what's going to happen, screen one, we see it screen two we see it and then on screen three it's going to go away so that's something you can do there um suppose th there are other ways of doing it by adjusting your rule but what you're going to notice here if i save this and go back to my home screen 
Um, what you're going to notice is that if I go back to screen one, so again, we're going to show it for the first two, but not the third. So here's screen one, here's screen two, nothing changed, and screen three is when it goes away. Now, if I try to do this little bump thing here, you may notice that it tries to fade back in sometimes. Well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I was actually accidentally doing something like that, going back to screen two. That's just Nova Launcher. Uh, I don't think all the launchers act like that, but nonetheless, that is how one quick fix to show for the first two, but not the third. And then one more thing that I was talking with one of these users about, I can't remember who it was exactly. Uh, they said, okay, well, what if I have four, four horizontal screens? Or what if I have more than three? So let's look at four. And suppose we want this thing to show on the first one. We, want, we don't want to see it on the second. We don't want to see it on the third. And we want to see it on the fourth. Well, you may say, well, that's exactly what it's doing. Well, not really. It's showing on the first. It's showing on the second. It goes away on the third and it comes back on the fourth. But we want to get rid of it on this second one here. Well, here's a quick fix for this. What we can do is, and you have to, uh, it requires you creating uh, a duplicate of this thing. So I'm just going to do that. This is how I oftentimes do it when I mess with background scroll. I don't do a lot of background scroll anymore, but it, it'll be all right. Um, I still can give you some quick tips. So I'm going to call this background scroll one for this one. And I'm going to call this one uh, background scroll uh, two. Basically the first one and the second one. I want to see this one on the first screen. I want to see this one on the last screen, even though I didn't put a four, it just stands for the last one. So that's the second one I want to see animate. So I'm going to come to this first one and a quick fix here. I'm going to go to animation, fade in. Um, and actually what I want it to do now is I want it to fade out and I want my center screen set to one. Let me show you why. And I think this should work. So screen one, center screen one, we want it to fade out. And notice, okay, that's not, oh, okay, we're good. Hold on one second. Let me come back. This is going to work. Let me delete that duplicate I just made because I just want to show you this one right now. Otherwise, you'd be seeing two pieces overlapping each other, but we're about to fix it. So back into this one, animation, uh, background scroll, fade out center screen one. So I'm on screen one. Well, what's going to happen is when it goes to two, notice it fades out and we're never going to see it again because it's going to fade out uh, from the center, which is set to one center screen set to one. You, just because you have the rule center doesn't mean you have to have a center screen. Plus it would be kind of weird to have a center screen since we have four screens. We don't so that's how we get that one to go away. And now let's come and do that duplicate. So copy, paste, and now I'll call this one two. And what we need to do here is we need to come into this one, the second one I just copied and pasted. I'm going to go to its animation and all I'm going to change that is to my last screen. You could use first screen and last screen, by the way, as well, but I'm just going to set it to screen four, which is that's how many screens I have. It would be no different than you setting it to last screen. So now if I had this set up correctly, yes, we are using, instead of using one item, we're using two items, but heck, you can put 92 items in root. So hopefully creating a duplicate like this isn't going to, uh, prevent you from having more pieces in your custom live wallpaper. So let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen and now let's go to screen one. So again, our goal here is to show up for the first one. We don't want to see it for the middle one, the second one and the third one, but then our final screen, ha ha, look at what I have here. I never added my fourth screen. So I'm going to come over here. Now I have four screens on my Nova launcher. So if we come back to the beginning, as you can see this, well, let me scroll correctly. As you can see, the animation is working. So screen one, we want to see it. Screen two, we don't. Screen three, we don't. And then screen four, there's that duplicate popping back in. And if I scroll real slow, you will notice that it fades quite nicely. If I scroll quickly to two, and now watch this. When I scroll real slow, notice how it does fade in. Now, by all means, uh, feel free to mess around with the other animations inside of there, such as scale in, scale out, all those various pieces, um, integrating various ones. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll start throwing in some BG scroll with the recent update. For those of you just getting into KOWP, you don't know any different, but there is a new uh, thing now where we can do, where is it at? Complex animation. Um, I've done some recent tutorials on that. But for now, just some of the basics. Uh, feel free to mess around, like I said, with these other pieces in here. It will require some tinkering, and maybe you can wrap your head around this stuff over here. Like I said, it doesn't always work the way I think it should work, but uh, practice makes perfect. And there you have it. That's just a few quick tips on BG Scroll. And also, I encourage you to check out that scrolling wallpaper versus a no scrolling wallpaper. That's back here at this infinite cycle, uh, KOWP2. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.